So this is another of my older videos that I've kind of remastered a little bit so I can give you guys some extra instruction on what I'm doing. Essentially, these are mini canvases that have been pre-gessoed with acrylic gesso, and so because of that, they're not that great to use for encaustic. I'm only doing a few layers here, but still, if I was going to do mini canvases again, I would, I, I, I probably wouldn't do mini canvases really very much at all, but if I did, I would probably sand the surface first because um, encaustic medium has a hard time fusing really well uh, when there's acrylic present. So to kind of bear that in mind when you're working. I'm using India inks here to add some color onto the surface and then I'll be doing a wet shellac burn later on in the video. I'm really experimenting here with different colors, um, putting them beneath white, on top of white, and kind of seeing how the different ways that I've added the color kind of reacts with the shellac burn. And the results are actually pretty interesting for the different types of ways I've added color. Also experimenting with different textures on these canvases, adding some drops and doing some different things to see how it also reacts with the shellac burn. And the results are not very conclusive. Um, the, the texture doesn't really stand out that much at all after you do a shellac burn. You can maybe tell a little bit, but not enough to really make a difference. One of the great things about using India ink in your encaustic paintings is that it, once it dries, it's permanent, and so you can paint over the surface uh, and do various things with it, or you can leave it as a final layer. Be gentle if you're painting over it, because if you're too hard with the, with your brush, you can, you know, the the melted wax, the heat of of adding another layer of wax can mess up the ink a little bit. But if you're careful, then you won't have any problems. When you do a wet shellac burn, it leaves some tackiness on the surface. So I dab that tackiness away with a paper towel and you come up with a little bit of color off on the paper towel, but not very much. Adding the calligraphy is my favorite part for, for these pieces. It's fun to experiment with different, different ways, different designs, where to add the words, what to kind of say. Most of the time I just use nonsense words, like just letters and things that don't really mean anything, but occasionally I'll add a word in there that to see if anybody can see it or read it. I find that adding text to my paintings, it feels like it adds a lot of symbolism because there's so many meanings in words and letters.
Thanks for watching. I hope you found it informative. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to put them in the comments and I'll get to them as quickly as I can. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks. I'll see you in the next video.